EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports! If it's in the game, it's in the game! EA Sports! It's in the game! NCAA Football 2005. teams will be anything but sweet out on the field. The crowd is filling up the dome, and we're just about ready for the Boston College Eagles and the LSU Tigers. And here come the Tigers. It's time to go bowling. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler. As always, joining me, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit, ready to bring you all the play-by-play -play action of this highly anticipated bowl game. The Eagles are going to have to play a great football game if they expect to win this one, Kirk. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one, Brad. LSU will win this football game because of their quarterback. And the thing I noticed about him is his ability to spread the ball out to a number of different receivers. I think he'll have a solid game, and they're going to win by two touchdowns. And another thing... LSU loves to run the football, and then that's how they win ball games. I think they're going to have a big game on the ground today. And Kirk, I agree with you. I think they win this one. No problem. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number five. Fields it at the 11. <laughs> They'll start this drive at the 25. The Tigers line up with three wide. On the ground with a tailback. And he's tackled. A yard, if any, there for the halfback. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. He gets another carry. And he's going to lose yards on this one. And that was not a good call offensively. Nah, not a good call, only because they lost yardage. I'll tell you, I've seen plays like this where the tailback breaks one and goes for a touchdown. You're right, Lee. You can never tell. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 26. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Got it. They'll bring him down. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. First and 10, ball on the 45-yard line. They line up in a double tight set. Inside handoff. And they make the stop. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 45. Number 12 with three wide receivers. They'll keep it on the ground again. And down he goes. About eight yards there. Right. 
So another third down upcoming for the offense. LSU will line up in a jumbo set here. Toss to the right. Can he get to the sticks? He's gobbled up in the backfield. Look at that. The blitz just threw off their blocking assignments. And that's why this running back is looking for his mouthpiece right now. So they're set to pump this one away. Hangs it up high. Number one, calls for the fair catch. Now we'll get a chance to see if this offense can fare any better than their counterparts. They'll take over at the 23. Number 38 lines up as a single back. They'll give it off here. And he's taken down. Couldn't get anything out of that. Second and 10, ball on the 23-yard line. The Eagle come out in the ace formation. They go with a toss. And they make the stop. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 24. They come out of the nickel. He drops back. Throw. And down he goes. And that's three and out. And if you're the defensive coordinator, you deserve a pat on the back. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. Punts the ball away. Number five, fields at the 31. So the offense takes over, and they'll try to figure out this defense. They forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. They'll get the ball here at the 34-yard line. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Tigers line up in an I formation. Here's the give. Brought down. The fullback gains about four yards there. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 38. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Up the middle. And they hit him in the backfield. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. They're down and seven. Ball on the 37-yard line. The Eagles bring in the nickel package. Drops back to pass. He steps up, looking. Throws! This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 36 gets it off. Number one, fielded at the 26. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 31. They come out with three wide receivers. Hand off to the right. They'll bring him down. So the old counter gets two, maybe three yards. And so we've reached the end of quarter number one, and we're all tied up. Second and seven. Ball on the 34-yard line. Boston College goes with the ace set here. Back to pass. He's under some heat. Across the middle, got it, and he's taken down. 
First down, what a pass. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. It's first and ten. Ball on the 44. Three wide outs here. They'll work the right side. Little shake and bake move. And they make the stop. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Boston College lines up in a double tight set. On the ground with the tailback. And they got him for a loss. Nice tackle to bring him down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Solid effort there to break up that play. Third and 11. This is the fifth play of this drive. They line up in the shotgun. He drops back, throws it to the outside. And it's incomplete. That ball was off the marsh, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's get back to basics. Hey, Coach, this guy looks like he's got his adrenaline flowing out there. He's a little bit too excited. Come on, Kirk. We almost caught that one. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. Number 25. Punched it, and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number 30. Signals for a fair catch. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll set up shot at the 24-yard line. From the gun. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Pressure coming. Rolls to the right, and they get the sack. They got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration got there, and boom, he went down. Yeah, that pocket just collapsed right on top of the quarterback. Second and long, ball on their own 16. One man backfield. Back to pass. With the throw. Complete. They'll bring him down. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Third and two coming up here. Ball on the 32-yard line. They come out in a goal line set. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Throws this one out to the left. And down he goes. First down on the reception. That was a nice play there. They knew exactly how much they needed for a first down, and they didn't try to do anything dangerous or sneaky out there. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 38. The Tigers come out showing three wide. They go with a pitch to the right. With the spin, and they make the stop. Ten-yard pickup on the play. It's second and inches, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. There's the play fake. He lets it go. To the 20, got it, to the 10, touchdown, LSU. Look at that. For a second there, I could have scored that back end of football. Beautiful play. Yeah, I don't know if it was the offensive coordinator, the head coach, or just the quarterback checking off, but my hat goes off to whoever called that play. Tacks on the extra point. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is LSU, seven, Boston College, nothing.
looks like they're ready for the LSU kick. Is lined up for the kick Number 32, Matt he kicks it. Number one, fields it at the three. Ball is loose, fumble, and they fall on the loose ball. Take over at the 20. The Eagle come out in the ace formation. Up the middle. A little bit. Brought down. Boston College calls a timeout. Second and two. Ball on the 28 yard line. Number 18 lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up. He'll dump this one off. Someone got a hand on it. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 28. The Eagle. Line up in a goal line formation. They'll go with the run once again. And down he goes. And he pulls off a great run. Let me tell you something. This kid is a good running back. And I haven't seen moves like that since my high school prom, sweetheart. <laughs> Easy, coach. You don't want to scare off any of our viewers. First and 10. Ball on the 36. Number 18 is back in the gun. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. It's tipped. Almost picked off. Nearly intercepted that time. On that last play, you see the defense do a good job of playing coverage, and the quarterback telegraphed his pass the whole way. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number 18 with three wide receivers. Wants to throw outside. The ball is tipped. Same result after that throw. They just can't complete one. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The Tigers line up with six defensive backs. Throws it to the outside. So the coverage continues to look impressive on this drive. That'll bring up fourth down. You're right, Brad. The coverage has looked impressive, but this quarterback certainly has not. He just can't seem to find his rhythm. The Eagle line up the punt. Number 25 gets it off. Number five takes it to 32. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. They'll start this drive at the 38. First and 10. One man backfield. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. And he got it! Inside the 30 to the 10. Touchdown, Tigers! The throw to the wide receiver goes for a touchdown. That kid looks like a natural receiver out there. Well, you could say he's from a good pedigree when it comes to football. I think his father's taught him very well. the PAT. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, LSU 14, Boston College nothing.
it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. LSU is lined up with the kickoff. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number one, fields it at the nine. The defense did a good job against them the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. They'll, take They'll go to work at the 26-yard line. First and ten. Two tight ends set. He drops back. Under heavy pressure. Look. And down he goes. They came after him hard there. Yeah, they sure did. And Lee, I think the quarterback felt that pressure coming from every direction. Kirk, as I've always said, the best way to keep the pressure down and to help the quarterback is to run screens and draws. Second and 15. Ball on their own 21. The Eagle come out in a two tight end set. Back to pass. Looking. He rolls out to the right. And he throws it away. Pressure that time. And he was forced into throwing before he wanted to. Wow, the kid just avoided getting smacked on that one. Third and 15 coming up, all on the 21-yard line. LSU lines up with five defensive backs. Drops back to pass. He's looking. He steps up. And he just gets rid of it. So they go three and out after that incompletion. They come out in a punt formation. He gets it away. Number five, fields it at the 50. Inside the 30. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Clipping on the receiving team. 15 yards is That's frustrating for us, coach, when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. They'll throw on first down. Steps up in the pocket. He's going to air it long. And he got it! He's all the way down to the 14. Time here. The score at the break. LSU 14, Boston College nothing. We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number 32 takes it from the six. Doesn't miss tackle. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll get the ball here at the 20. The Eagle come out in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Looks across the middle. It's deflected. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Second and 10. Ball on their own 20. Boston College. Lines up with three receivers. On the ground with a tailback. And who's got it? One of the defensive linemen. Coach, what can you do to avoid those turns? 
Well, you got to be fundamentally sound. You've got to protect the football with your body. I don't care who you are. Excellent field position to start the drive. LSU lines up in a shotgun set. The count. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. It's second down now and 13 to go. Ball to the 22. The Tigers line up in an eye formation. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They called a blitz in the defensive end. Got in there for a big sack. they did want to get in. Ball on the 26. Number 12 is back in the gun. Back to pass. Steps up. Looking. Across the middle. His receiver has it. They'll bring him down. Yeah, we got an injured player on the field. Well, it looks like he twisted his knee a little bit there. back in the red zone where they have really struggled lately. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. And it's incomplete. And that one was a little off target. Yeah, he had a little too much mustard on that one, Brad. He needs a little bit more touch in those passes and let the receivers go get it. Number 25 is the single setback. On the ground with the tailback. Touchdown, LSU! How about that run? Nice call by the coaches here. You use your bread and butter when you're near the goal line. If this guy's the bread and butter, then the offensive line is the meat. They open up the whole room to score, and without them, you got yourself a pretty plain sandwich. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over three minutes remaining in the third quarter, our score, LSU 21, Boston College nothing. Kick this one off. Number one and number 32 set to return. Kicks it off. Number 32 fields it at the seven. Spinning. So the offense comes out after their last drive. Had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. They'll set up shot at the 25. Number 38 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. They'll throw on first down. Watch the middle. It falls incomplete. He put a little something extra on that throw, and the receiver mishandled it. He needed oven mitts for that one because it was a hot tamale. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 25. The Eagles go with the eye formation. Play action. Throws. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 25. 
Boston College. In a four wide set, looks, throws it to the outside, and it falls incomplete. We knew this drive was in trouble if they couldn't get the pass game going. And I think it's safe to say it didn't get going at all. No one caught a pass on that drive, and that, my friends, deserves a major league yoke. So they're set to punt this one away. He punts it. Number five, fields at the 46. He spins. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. They'll work from the shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws. That one way too far out in front. You know what, guys? That's what I refer to as a radio ball. You can hear it. You just can't see it. And if the receiver can't see it, then he's not going to catch it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 44. Number 25 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Makes a move. Tackle. Four yards gain. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Eagles line up in a nickel back. Once it all, going deep. Got it. He's all the way down to the four. Oh, my. What do you think of that one, Kirk? Boy, I'll tell you what. The quarterback delivered a perfect pass on that play and gave them more than enough for the first down. come out in a goal line set. Drive to juice. Touchdown, LSU! That gives him two rushing scores on the day. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. And he hits the PAT. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Number one, Kicks it off. Number 32 takes from the 10. Jets tackler. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll start this drive at the 27-yard line. And the fans have quieted down. Drops back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Someone got a hand on it. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Toss, and he's taken down. Two yards on the toss play. Third and eight, ball of the 29. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. Throws it out there. 
And that one's fallen incomplete. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. Number 25 gets it off. Number five fields it at the 34. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. And the fans have quieted down. They go with a toss. Spin move. And they make the stop. A nice pickup of about eight yards. Second and two coming up here. Ball on their own 42. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Nice play fake. Looking, rolling out to the right side. Under pressure. And he's going to be sacked. Boy, they got some major heat on the quarterback that time. Well, that's the whole goal of the defense. They're going to attack him by bringing multiple looks and blitzing from the linebackers in the secondary to try to confuse him. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. Back to pass. Lofts this one out to the left. And it's caught. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. He gets it away. Number one, fields it to 31. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll go to work at the 32. And the fans have quieted down. What's the middle? It's deflected. There's an athletic play by the linebacker. Listen up, my friend. Nowadays, linebackers need to be able to do more than just stop the run. They got to be able to fly all around the field and play the pass, too. As we go to the final quarter of play, this one is almost wrapped up. Our score here, LSU 28, Boston College nothing. Second and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Down the middle. Someone got a hand on it. Not a good decision here by the quarterback throwing into coverage. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 32. LSU brings in the nickel here, drops back to pass, steps up, throws this one out to the right. It's tipped, and the corner got in there and broke that one up. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. Number 25, punts it, and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number two, fields it at the 41. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll take over at the 42. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. They'll throw on first down. He's going right. Cut. And he's tackled. Good yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run.
first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. And the fans have quieted down. A handoff on the counter. And he is drilled. Woo -hoo -hoo. He just went right through him. Man, who was supposed to block that guy? I don't think it matters, Kirk. He's playing with reckless abandon out there. It's got to be hard to block a guy that hits like that. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 43. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. He's looking. Throws this one out to the left. Got it. And he shoved out of bounds. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. First and ten. Ball in the 25. First the fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. On the ground with the tailback. Brought down. They got four yards on that one. It's second down and six to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. He drops back. And now he's going to improvise. Spins up field. And they make the stop. He scrambles and picks up five. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 16. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result in another touchdown. Try to get the first on the ground. He's hit. He got away. Tackle. And that was a nice run on third down. That's right, Brad. Those big uglies up front did a nice job of paving the way for the ball carrier. Fans have quieted down. They go with the option. He tries to spin. And he's tackled. And he keeps it on the option play and picks up six. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Nice play fake. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete. The clock will stop with that incompletion. Boy, I don't understand that strategy at all. With the lead late in the game, you just need to run the football. That's not a smart decision. Fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. Drops back to pass. Here comes the pressure, and it's incomplete. Looks like he forced the throw there, guys. Yeah, yeah. you got to be careful about throwing into the end zone because you don't want to lose a shot at some point. No question, Coach. He got lucky. Nobody was there to pick it off. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. It's up, and it's good. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Looks ready to kick this one off. 
Here's the kick. Number 32 fields it in the end zone. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 20. And the fans have quieted down. On the ground with the tailback. They'll bring him down. Three-yard gain by the running back. Second and seven coming up here. All on their own 23. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Brought down. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. And here's our red zone players of the game. Red zone, when performance matters the most. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame him. He drops back. He steps up, looks, throws, gets him open field. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. First and 10. Ball on their own 41. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. Going deep, lays it up there. Almost picked off. Nearly intercepted that time. On that last play, you see the defense do a good job of playing coverage, and a quarterback telegraphed his pass the whole way. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. And the fans have quieted down. Back to pass. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Boston College takes a timeout. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Drop back to pass. Watch the middle. The ball is tipped. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and just get his hand on it. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. Number 25 gets it off. Number two. Number two takes it to 36. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 38-yard line. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. There's the kneel down by the quarterback. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 36. And the fans have quieted down. And he's tackled. He rumbles ahead and picks up about five. Third down and seven. Ball on the 41-yard line. This one's in the books, folks. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I can't say enough about this performance. LSU played an excellent game out there, dominating on both sides of the ball. They've got to feel pretty good after blowing out a team like this. And we That's thank you kindly game. for participating in NCAA Football 2005. Our final tally in this game, LSU 31, Boston College nothing. Our thanks go out to everyone here at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler for Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso signing off. Until next time, so long, everybody.